You have purchased a Heartsign Samaritan PAD 450P featuring CPR Rate Advisor, an innovative AED that provides real-time feedback on the rate of CPR. Let's look at how to use one in a life-saving situation. The Samaritan PAD should be used on victims of sudden cardiac arrest who are unconscious, not breathing and have no pulse. Check for a response by shaking the victim by the shoulders and talking loudly to the victim. If the patient is unresponsive, immediately call for medical assistance and get the Samaritan PAD as quickly as possible. Press the green on-off button to turn on the Samaritan PAD. Depending on the pad pack currently installed, you will hear either an adult patient or a child patient prompt. If the patient is a child between 1 and 8 years of age, you should ensure a pink paediatric pack is installed. If a pink paediatric pack is not available, you may use the grey adult pad pack instead. Adult patient. Call for medical assistance. Remove clothing from patient's chest. To expose bare skin, pull green tab to remove pads. Peel pads from liner. Apply pads to patient's bare chest, as shown in picture. Press pads firmly to patient's bare skin. The Samaritan PAD automatically assesses the patient's heart rhythm. Assessing heart rhythm. And recommends whether or not a shock should be delivered. Shock advised. Stand clear of patient. Press the orange shock button now. Shock delivered. When performing CPR, it's important to apply effective chest compressions for each two-minute cycle, as directed. The SAM 450P, with CPR Rate Advisor, will prompt you to begin CPR and will continue to do so until you begin chest compressions. Begin CPR. It is safe to touch the patient. The SAM 450P will tell you how and where to place your hands, as well as provide you with real-time audio-visual feedback on the rate of your chest compressions. Place overlapping hands in middle of chest. Press directly down on the chest in time with metronome. Remain calm. If you are performing chest compressions at a rate that is slower than the current guidelines, the SAM 450P will prompt you to increase the rate of chest compressions. Push faster. If you are performing chest compressions at a rate that is faster than the current guidelines, the SAM 450P will prompt you to decrease the rate of chest compressions. Push slower. When your rate of chest compressions is within the range recommended by the current guidelines, the SAM 450P will reassure you that you are providing an optimal compression rate. Good speed. In addition to following the rate guidance prompts, your chest compressions should have a depth of at least 5 cm or 2 inches and not greater than 6 cm or 2.3 inches for adults and children greater than 8 years in age. The combination of chest compressions and defibrillation is the best treatment you can provide until medical professionals arrive on the scene. Once you have completed two minutes of chest compressions, the SAM 450P will prompt you to stop chest compressions. Stop CPR. And again assess the patient's heart rhythm. Assessing heart rhythm. Do not touch the patient. Sometimes, no shock is needed in a life-saving situation. No shock advised and the Samaritan PAD will tell you in that instance or advise you to continue to perform CPR. After using the Samaritan PAD, slide a new pad pack into the unit and store it as usual. Remember to follow your local battery disposal guidelines. Once a week, check that the green light is flashing so that you know the unit is ready in case of an emergency. The Samaritan PAD stores up to 90 minutes of ECG information after use. Use the Saver Evo software, which can be downloaded from the HeartSign website, and the custom USB data cable to download the event data for a physician who may want the information from the device to formulate treatment decisions. After using the Samaritan PAD during a sudden cardiac arrest, submit to HeartSign the Saver Evo file and a completed customer event form. HeartSign will send you a free replacement pad pack. After downloading the event data, please erase the data from memory. If you need assistance to do this, contact HeartSign Technical Service.
When a heart sign Samaritan PAD is used to save a victim of sudden cardiac arrest, the survivor is eligible to participate in the Forward Hearts program, which provides a donation to an organization of the survivor's choice. Contact HeartSign for details. With the unit nearby, you are always prepared to respond in the event of someone going into sudden cardiac arrest. HeartSign. Life-saving. Pure and simple.